Hey guys, uh, Darren from Dyer Outdoors here. I am at the beautiful Lake Elmo Park Reserve. And uh, this is where we take a lot of groups fat tire biking, both in the summer and in the winter. And it reminded me of a question that we get asked quite often. And that question is, if I go mountain biking, am I gonna fall? Am I gonna crash into something? And to answer that question, I would say, well, as long as you match your skills with the type of trail you're on, your chances of falling is pretty minimal. I think we brought over, God, several hundred people um, of all different shapes, sizes, ages, um, out mountain biking on our fat tire bikes over the last few years, and I can only think of maybe two people out of all of those that have actually fallen. Um, so that's pretty low, pretty low number, and um, like I said, we have lots of different types of people that come out, and most of the people that come out with us are not mountain bikers. It's like their first time uh, trying out a uh, fat tire bike on an off-road trail. So, um, it, but like I said, it's important that you match the trail that you're riding on with your skill level. There's two main types of trails that you'll find when you're mountain biking. One I'll call the wide ski trail, and that's what we have here at Lake Elmo. Um, the trails are probably four to eight feet wide. There's absolutely no obstacles. The hills aren't very steep. Um, there's not any really sharp corners. And so it's great for beginners up to advanced because you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. You can just go and ride. And uh, you know, it's if you can ride a bike, you can ride here at a trail like Lake Elmo. Even if you're a beginner and uh, your chances of falling is really minimal. The other type of trail that is out there and what most people have in their head for what a mountain biking trail is, is what's called a single track trail. They're about 18 inches wide, maybe 24 inches wide. They snake through the woods, um, they go up and down hills, they might have really tight uh, turns, they might go in between two trees where your handlebars just barely fit, they might have log piles or jumps or ladder bridges, all sorts of obstacles that you can challenge yourself if you'd like. Now once again, if you have intermediate skills um, and you go to a single track um, trail that matches those skills, your chances of falling is very minimal. If you're a beginner and you go to a trail with more advanced obstacles and features, your chances of falling is greater. The good thing about most of the multi, um, uh, most of the single track trails that are out there is even if they have obstacles, most of the time you can bypass those obstacles. So you can go and ride on these trails and get off and walk or walk or ride around um, different obstacles um, if you don't feel comfortable doing it or they're above your skill level. So um, I would just say it's important to match your skill level to where you ride and you shouldn't fall. Have a great day. Bye.